Dr. Rao, what is dyssynergic defecation and what causes it? Well, that's a great question, Janetta. So, pooping is something that's natural for all of us, something that we rarely think twice. The majority of people get an urge, they go, they spend a short time in the restroom, and then they never even think about it. But for a, a third of the patients with chronic constipation, they have a condition called dyssynergic defecation. It's a little bit of a mouthful, but essentially pooping or defecation has become incoordinated or dyssynergic. That is why we call it dyssynergic defecation. So in these patients, the whole act of having a bowel movement has gone away. So they either don't know how to push or they push excessively. Unbeknown to them, they obstruct their own bowel movement. Many times they push the stool back inside them or they only pass a small amount and they have this incomplete evacuation. So this is the synergic defecation, which is incoordinated bowel movement, and it is very common. Over one third of patients with chronic constipation have this problem. With regards to what causes it, that has been a little challenge. And we investigated over 100 patients to really find out. These patients had definite diagnosis of this synergic defecation using standard criteria. We found that a third of these patients had this problem right from childhood. So they never learned the art of pooping. This is something we think as an art, but something we acquire almost conditionally. When we are young, we all learn how to poop. But these folks never knew, and they had this problem right from get-go. And then two-thirds of other patients we found, they had a normal bowel habit, but something happened during adult life. Maybe they are about where the stools became very, very hard, and they learned to strain, strain excessively over prolonged periods of time. Or they had some form of physical or sexual abuse or they've had some trauma back injury or a obstetric injury or some people had surgery in the anorectal region or pelvic floor region uh, or they developed some other conditions that led to changes in the lower bowel which then led to onset of dyssynergic defecation this is what we found through our research is that the number of things caused but in a small proportion maybe about 20 percent we could never identify what actually caused it. So those are usually the causes that lead to dyssynergic defect.